Hearing none, let's move on. Now, first we have a memo from Mr. Clapper. Um, let's go over that memo so everyone understands that. Does everybody have a copy of proposed adjustments? Now, what Mr. Clapper is doing with that memo is moving numbers from one fund to another because of where that labor and material is being used. So if you look at the water project, there's $26,450 in labor in that $56,000, $58,000 project. So we can move that number for that project out of the general fund because the labor is being funded out of the water fund. Does that make sense to everybody? That 26450 in labor, we can take that amount of labor out of the general because it's already in the water fund. So in essence there, we're gaining $26,450 on that project because the labor is already in the $58,000 project. Make sense? It's a little, it's a little, I hope it makes sense. Now, the, we still have to cover the FICA. The FICA has to be added to the water to be taken out of the general. The next one, water leaks and leak surveys. Um, you'll see same idea there. The labor is included in the line items in the water project. No. No, that one is not. No, I see there's a minus sign there. But the labor should be in the water fund, not in the general fund. So we take that labor out of the general fund, put it into the water fund. Same with FICA. And then the last one is, <coughs> when it says Alan, I'm assuming Alan, Alan Lewis does the I, &I inspections. So his labor can come out of the general fund, which it turns into a positive in the general fund, but needs to be paid out of the sewer fund which reduces our carryover um, in the sewer fund, but is for the good for the general fund. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're only at $2,500 left in sewer fund? $2,500 extra dollars in sewer, which is something we have to, we'll have to look into. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe move part of it, but that's not a... Well, if it's more realistic, maybe it should go that way, and we have to look farther yeah, into the not, sewer fund again. He doesn't just do sewer stuff. I mean, if you really want to get into it, maybe how much of his time is spent on sewer? Well, when we have, uh, like this time of the year, it's not much because we cut those inspections back, but when it's full tilt, it's all day long every day. I would say it's probably a stretch to say, and that isn't his full work. Right. But I would say you're right. I'm just I, I, uh, I was throwing this. Yeah, my, right my thought my thought is you can move the full forty, but again you're going to end up with essentially a zero balance in your sewer fund. Last time you just voted the raise rates raise the rates to get a balance out of budget. Um, can we take just half of that? Yeah, I think I think taking half of that would be okay. Let's put it twenty. Yeah. Again, you're going to you, you have a sewer problem, a single sewer break. You just went negative in this fund. That's the whole issue here. That's why, you know, we were sitting here going, okay, 46,000, that's probably a safe number to finish out the year. Um, you move too much out of that, um, you're going to be in trouble. Especially when you talk about sewer and water. Those are the two where, at any given point, we have some kind of problem happening, correct? And I agree with that 100%. I, would, I guess the take home message is, is the labor from the water project was already included in the budget and I just, that light came on today. And we also have some labor that we pay for out of the general fund where the guys are doing water work. So it's applicable to move that out of the general and pay it. So, uh, so the water, I guess to, to start we can move we can move the water stuff, right? Yeah, let's make the water. Let's go ahead. So, <coughs> go ahead and make those water changes. No one has any problems with making those water changes, correct? Labor's already there. It makes good sense. Thank you, Jeff, for taking the time to find that money. That's a big help to us. We spent a lot of time the last two nights trying to find money, and fortunately, you know the budget better than we do, so it's very beneficial that you spend the time. All right, so Jeff, I need to take out uh, public works and the general fund. The public works wages. 
uh, you would take out a combination of 26450 plus 13600. And, well, you haven't talked about Allen yet. Right, but we don't want to touch that. So 26450 plus 13600. 13, what, 13? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, FICA and labor are out of both of, of those. Am right. I moving that money somewhere else? Uh, well, what you're going to do is you're going to take in the water, <coughs> okay. because the labor, the 26450, you're going to take that labor out of that $58,000 project and throw it into the water labor so that the FICA will calculate. Does that make sense? No. But whatever labor you're you gonna have, have to water, you're going to add 26450 to it. But isn't the labor already in the project in water? Yes, but that's in capital. So in a minute, you're going to reduce that project by that same amount. Okay. So okay. I'm adding that to... That number. What is it, 26450? Correct. Yes. So where did the 13600 go? It's still coming. We're getting there. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Excuse me. It would be the 26450. Uh, plus the 13,600, it'd be the same number. Correct. All right, so there's that new number. All right, so your FICA's already calculated. So now the only thing you're going to do is go down into water capital. So you're just going to reduce that water project of 58,000 down to 32, because the labor got taken out of it. Right here? Yes. So we had two projects, sir. I know that. So what, what's my new number? Thirty-two thousand. The total number is going to be thirty-two thousand. Okay. Thirty-two thousand right. one hundred. Wait, we eliminated oh, we one hundred bucks. Somewhere. I just rounded it. Did we eliminate one hundred? Put that hundred in there just so we don't lose a hundred. Right. I'm sorry, I lost. No, we moved labor. We took the labor. I he so had already. But it still covers two projects. That's all I need to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We just moved. We just Where moved the money. Well, it's yeah. covered. So the you're you're at five from labor's being down. Your new number, your new number in the water fund is thirty six five twenty nine fifty five. Okay. Okay. And so then, oh, they you haven't talked about that. Okay. So I'm good with the water fund. Oops, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. And, and what that does in your public works department is now, or in your general fund budget is now your one forty two. Now we want to talk about Allen's. No, wait, we did. So we've done the first two steps. Now Allen's sewer inspections. Yeah. All of his labor is being paid out of the general fund. Are we saying we want to take twenty thousand dollars and move that to the sewer fund? Is that the right? Is that a fair number to use? I think I think half of his salary, probably half of his time, is, is spent on sewer. Yeah, yeah. That's a fair. Number. I would say, you know, realistically. His whole salary is not, but he does spend a lot of time between the two departments. The majority, because he's our sewer inspector, goes to the sewer. Uh, I'm comfortable with that. I think, that's, I, I think it's, it represents the reality better than perhaps what we had. Yeah. If I understand. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take out twenty thousand dollars out of public works wages in the city department. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. You're going to. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. And this is this is how we and used to add do. twenty to the general. This is how we used to solve our problems here, Shane. Yeah, I know it's not the right way. It's not it's not the right way to do it. It makes it look better here, but we're not fixing any of the problems. And that's where we that's where we got to last night. Like, we're not fixing our problems. We're not fixing them for a year from now. We're going to sit here a year from now in the same situation as we're sitting here this year because we're not fixing the you're not problems. Not fixing, but yet you're realizing that. Taking things out of the right account gives you a better uh, realization of cost by fund, right? Yeah. So you're kind of manipulating the numbers, but as it turns out, it happens to be a positive way. And, and by next year, maybe we have to take a broader scale look at everybody's salaries and time invested in certain departments to try and get it a little more correct. 
Mm. Instead of us just saying, ah, eh, well, this guy seems to work here a lot, and that guy seems to work there a lot. Or so. anybody in this one. And yeah, and not that from him. Yeah. So. That makes sense. You, you added 20 to the suit? Yeah. And oh, took 20 out of 10. I didn't do that. Oh. How did I get to 24? Why did it be 22? All I did was change $20,000. You have to factor in FICA. Oh, okay. I went by this number here, so I thought it would just be. Well, you didn't take 40, yeah, you took 40 up. He took 40 out right. 20, so FICA is, in, FICA is right. only half of that. FICA is only 2,000 instead of 4,000. Okay, so that's what so we, we cut this in half, so this is only 2,000, not 4. Gotcha. So I go back to my first wages, and I'm going to take out another 20,000. 20, You're a very sacrificial plan here, We'll remember that during Christmas cards, too. <laughs> oh, isn't that upon us? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, do you have any other? Does anybody else have any? Yeah. Um, what was? What was the transfer we did from the storage tank to the, was it? The 100,000. 100,000, so there's 270 left in there. Well, my suggestion would be, and, and you guys can throw any number out there, that money that was, money is owed from the water department to the general fund on the books? Yeah, but it's Hold on, take a look at it. yes or no? In your accounting system, there is. That's what I asked you. Okay. In your accounting system, there is. I don't know if the auditor has a single. My, <clears throat> my suggestion would be to take 50000 from the storage tank, put it in the water department, and transfer that back to the, to the general fund, therefore paying back some of the money that is owed to the general fund. Get us through this year. And we can make up the other... 75,000 through well, some of the discussions we had yesterday and have a little bit of a contingency fund. Hopefully. Why not take more for it? Well, wow. I I just threw 50 out there I, for discussion. Could I explain to you what that money is meant for? This might change your mind. We all know. Well, yeah, please, Jeff. We all know, but please. you may not understand may not. the total of it. I want to hear it. When we sold the outside customers, we had an agreement with LCA that they would pay half of an interconnect. Okay? And it was envisioned that we would connect down there, kind of buy cells, automotive, come along the roadway, and connect to our system. It would be an additional source for the borough that would cover the fact that we really kind of, were kind of looking for a property for some additional storage of which we don't really have a site and there was some logic that maybe our additional source totally not connected with our water in case there was some sort of a problem was a good idea the only reason why i want to point out to you is that half of that cost to do that is only the piping and some of the basic work the borough has a lot of other costs associated with that such as booster pumps and things like that that LCA would not be participating in. So I believe that in order to cover that project satisfactorily, you're talking about the borough, all in all, having to come up with about $450,000 for a project, of which LCA might kick in two for their half. So if you're not prepared to spend Four hundred fifty thousand dollars on an interconnect. We have plug our production, satisfies our demand. Um, we have no real immediate need for that. That might change your thinking as far as being able to tap this number and still be able to regain that fund later on. Is all I wanted to point out. We're at two seventy now, and you uh, said half of it would be of what they would kick in would be about two. They would, I, I believe would that, just a rough estimate, I think LCA, that the cost when it comes down to it would be 200 LCA, like 450, 500 per. I mean, that money's been in there 
for we put it in 2008, 2009, it was yeah. up to 370. Yeah. And that project couldn't move forward. I, 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 mean, I always heard that, yeah. that it was for a storage tank, which was a million dollars. I know about the interceptors. We've discussed that in the committee. But I never heard of anything to move that forward other than the purpose, now. The purpose of the interconnect would be if we had to purchase water from LCA because we couldn't meet the demand of our customers. No. That, emergency that or if some emergency. Yeah, now, the, the thought of all of that really comes down to thinking, okay, in reality, in the real world, when is that going to happen? And if, would, would that happen? And when you have the money together, would LCA have the money together? Would you have to wait a couple years for them to get their money together? All I'm suggesting is, is we've been sticking this money away a little bit because after that agreement took place, we thought, too, that we should have additional storage. In that study for that storage location, we realized, hey, there is no place. It's good uh, to find that elevation line to do that. So we thought, let's kill two birds with one stone. Let's get our storage, technically, by having a, another water source and, and our interconnect, realizing that when we fire those pumps up to, to suck that water out of their system, we are only going to feed part of our grid because we're not going to be able to pump everywhere. The, the lines, the, you can't feed backwards as, as uh, well as you can from the tank. So my only purpose in explaining that to you a little more is to make you get a little bit of a warm and fuzzy, I guess, about whether you felt like tapping into it made more or less sense. When you say emergency, like one of our wells, gets Correct. contaminated and we can no longer use it or something Correct. something extremely Correct. catastrophic happens Correct. to our supply. Correct. Okay. At the current time, we have the capability of producing at least four times the amount of water that we consume. What, what about if and when we add on 80 more houses in town? I would be more worried about the sewer capacity. Yeah, that's always an issue. And I, and I, I would say, uh, although there are only going to be probably two people in a home because it's age restricted, so there may be one or two people in each home. It's not going to be families. Yeah. Is that other homes? I don't know if there's 65 year olds that take half hour showers like my kids. But <laughs> older people go to the bathroom a lot, they fuck the floor a lot. Before we would get into the discussion of transferring funds from their account, are there any more cuts that we can make? Well, then, uh, no. there's okay. the discussions that we did last night that we will have to address again in executive session. But we're just session. coming forward with additional cuts. I was just curious if Shane had any other ideas for any other cuts. I, I'm not other than some discussion in executive session, which is the reason why it's you across the board? Heck yeah, across you got some. We'll take it. <laughs> Is there anything left in your budget that could be reduced? We're, we're down to talking about service cuts. Really. Okay. I think everybody's pretty aware of that. So we had some long discussion. And we did, we did start cutting service last night. Did anyone talk to you about the, the park police? Um, yeah, Shane and I had a, had a meeting today and did discuss that. And, and I'm aware of it, yes. Okay. And then the downtown officer also. Yes, I, I know that came up, and that's at the same rate. Those, those were discussions that we had today. That, and those would be steps that you would have to take anyway prior to eliminating any full time staff. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, think, I think we're getting into individuals here, so. Right, and, and I'm, but I'm saying executives. You, you, you have to look at those. So that, that's, that's why I'm here to talk about that. One line item that there's the fees much more than the chief salary for us. Oh, is your line item too? Oh, mine is low. Mine is low. It is all one item. There's still the water in the sewer department. You know how to read meters? If you give me a truck meter, I'll drive it wherever you need me to. I, I, I mean, I, I think we're kind of at the personnel services. What, what, number, are you, what number are you at, at the general? 
Now, my suggestion would be before we do the storage tank, mm -hmm. we do the other issues first and then see what the difference is. Yeah, instead of doing that first, I think that's kind of jumping the gun. And what's left in the storage tank? What? 270,000. After the 100,000 we paid? Yeah, it was 370, it's down to 270. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, I guess we'll call for an executive session to discuss personnel. That, hey, you're out. That pretty much it for the rest of the night and everything? I would say no. no. I would say no. Exactly. I'll tell you what I'll do, though. We do need to be here because if we, for some reason, move salaries, I need to show yeah. them board back. Yeah, yeah. Of course. I'll go open the other room for you guys, if that's okay. That way you have somewhere to sit. Give me an idea how long it be. This could be a while. This could be a while. Well, Let's hope it's not. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I think it's Yeah, what they voted on for the water rates last night, I think that's probably where they're going to be. Well, I understand that. Yeah, that's the I'm talking about other fees. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're just going to say, yeah, I don't think so either. Let's just act. Yeah. Good night. Right. John, we'll go open up. We open it. Open. You got that other room? Yeah, so John, that other room's open if you want to go sit in the, okay. the conference room. Okay. Uh, can I turn this off or you want me to take it with me? Yeah, just take it with me. You can All right. All right, we're back in session now. Let's talk about. Um, let's start with. Let's start with discussion of property sale, something that we feel is valuable. Um, the first thing I want to talk about and make sure everyone's on board with is to South Second Street. Now, hopefully, everybody knows where it is. You go up past Unami. You bear you as you go left past Unami to start up the mountain. It would be farther up the mountain there. And as you start to go up, there's kind of a dirt, almost like what used to be a dirt road that goes in. And that is, an, I guess, an egress to our property, a way in, a way out. Um, 13 acres is approximately what we have up there. What I believe we should do first is explore the timbering option, see if there's money in the timbering of that property. And then after we, have a, we know and have that done, then put that property on the market for sale. I'm assuming that means we need to have a fair market appraisal. Yeah, I think we have to get two. I, two I think we actually have to get two separate appraisals. How about two separate motions too? Um, one to timber it, one to sell it. Yeah, I mean, I wrote either or. I mean, you could do both. You could combine it. I would combine it separate. Okay, well, let's make a motion to explore the timbering of the property on the south side of South Second Street, above Unami. So Thank you. Second, Dr. Waddell, discussion. Questions are pretty clear on it. Anybody have any concerns about the timbering? I think you put that you put that out for bid, or you just call a timbering company and not never timbers anything. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I timbered with ourselves for firewood, but okay. what's that? You, you can you suck if you want to. Oh, okay. Dr. Waddell seconded it. You, you think you put it out for bid? Yeah, you, you have to. Okay. You have to put it out for bid. Yep. Okay. There's, there's, there's some local guys. I mean, not, not that local, but there's I, timber people. Maybe if you can get one in here and kind of have yeah, yeah, like the work. It depends on what That way we have a ballpark and then put it out for bid. Because, you know, if you can only get one guy actually bid on it, it's right. Yeah, thousand dollars. Well, we might think that's a deal. Yeah, we might think it's a deal. So, I believe there's a. No. We can dig around and try to there's find There's a sawmill on Jersey Street. There's a sawmill on Main Road, out on Main Road, we'll might be one of the places we could dig around. Yeah, there's a sawmill on Jersey Street. 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 Yeah, there's but I think we should. I think we need to have a little more information before we just put it out to bid. So any information we can find. Um, we have a motion that's properly seconded. Dr. Waddell, this is maybe if somebody in the shade tree commission so knows something about trees, it might know somebody. Boy, I never thought of that. That's a good point. That's a good call. 
But I'm going to let us cut them down, too. He's going to want to cut them down. He's going to want to cut them down. Yes, but it doesn't mean they're good. He's going to want the soil washed and soak the water in between trees. I have contact with BG and our lily felt. Okay, very good. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. You can do select timber. Right. I agree. They're not the clear. Clear. Not clear. They're going to come in and take the ones that are of value to them, too. They're not going to take them. I don't think anyone clear cuts anymore. <clears throat> All those in favor? We have six eyes. Now, the next one would be following the timber to put that property on the market for sale. Thank you, Dr. Waddell. Is there a second to the motion to sell the property? Mr. Shovis says second to the motion. Discussion? Are, are, if I may, are we just clear that we have no use for the property? I mean, take the jet, the chief, anybody that we don't use in any way now uh, other than... My only concern would be that there's anything underground yet. The only thing that I'm aware of that's there is the water main terminates about 150 to 200 feet past the curb and it ends in a hydrant on the side of the road. Part of part of that, everything outside the um, borough lot boundary, that fourth of the main, belongs to LCA. Part of that cell preparation is going to be a survey anyway. Right. Yeah. And there should be some record here of what was there and how it was. If there was a reservoir there, which I was told is no, no, nothing left of it at all. But just to make sure that we don't have something up there that we don't know about yet, Mr. Labor. I'm going to be voting against it because I'm not in favor of having that developed because that's what will happen if it gets sold. Thirteen acres. It's deeper than the cow stage. That's There's one spot right there on the on the face of the property. Like right off of the road, there's a little bit of flat spot that you probably could put a house on. But outside of that, maybe one house. That's it. Yeah. I mean, that's you you would literally have to plow the mountain. And it, it, it means it. nothing to us. I mean, I don't see any, we don't use it for anything. It's really it's a liability if it's anything. Yeah. Own property that we have no use for. So I think we're doing the right thing. All those in favor? We have five, four. Those opposed? Mr. Leidenberg is opposed. Now, discussing personnel matters, what we did is we took the fire department um, budget. I'm sorry. Can you talk about the other property? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we can deal with the other property. The property on Jubilee Street. We have a considerable amount of property on the north side of the 500 block of Jubilee Street. And it would be the recommendation that we explore the sale of that property get an appraisal, see what it's worth, and then determine that hopefully it is valuable to sell. Somebody would like to make a motion to explore that sale. Dr. Waddell, is there a second? Second by Mr. Brown. Discussion. Mr. Labor. I'll be voting against this because I think it's more revenue generating if we were rented out, as I've been brought, bringing up consistently over the last five years, versus getting a, a one-time money grab. We can have yearly revenue from it. The BFW used to rent spots, and they used it to generate revenue, and there's no reason why we can't. So I will be voting against this. Discussion, anyone else? I personally don't want to be in the parking business. If we had a downtown parking authority, if we had something like that, I think we should be exploring the option of selling it to an organization like that. And I think we should tell the Main Street that we are proceeding with thinking about selling this property and that you know it has to be appraised, it has to sell fair market value, but they may have interest because it, you're right, it could be a revenue generator. I'm just not interested in the expense of generating the revenue. Mr. Labor. How is it any different than giving a permit for all the parking spaces around the high school? You give a permit, you get a space, that's it. You charge them rent. How is it any different than giving a permit sticker out in all those neighborhood parking spots? Because we would have to have personnel. How is that monitored? We would have to have personnel check no. that spot. Where how how does that happen at the high school? The residents If somebody call. is parked there, the residents call. The so, residents call. So if somebody parks in their rented space, what do they do? They call. It's no different. No different at all. And you generate point. revenue doing it. I understand your point. Would you have the downtown officer uh, patrol that thing? It could be any officer. Okay, it's only going to happen when they make a phone call. 
How often is that going to be? Well, just realize we're only exploring the sale of it. That's what the motion is to explore the sale. If it comes back, with, that, if it comes back with a value of yeah, but I'm looking at nothing, like, we'll, we'll I'm looking at consider. yearly revenue versus one-time money grab, and I've been pushing that for five years now. All those in favor of exploring the sale? We have five in favor. Those opposed? <laughs> Mr. Lavenberg is opposed. All right, I think I covered the property portion of it. Let's now move to, I believe the only motion we need is the change in SOG, Standard Operating Guidelines for the Fire Department, um, where we reduced 411.136 line item and reduced it considerably with the intent of not paying for overnight on-call standby. And hopefully I'm phrasing that correctly. I'll make that into the form of a motion that we no longer pay for on-call standby and considerably reduce that line item. No longer, no longer paying for the on-call standby overnight people to sleep at the fire company. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not comfortable in the way I'm phrasing I, it. I'm going to, if you don't mind. Please, please. We're not going to pay for people to sleep at the fire department overnight. Okay. We're no longer going to pay for people to sleep at the firehouse. And in case I would be on the wrong line item or there would be any issues, we're no longer paying for overnight sleeping at the firehouse. I'll second that. Discussion. Talk about up. Wouldn't that line item go to zero then? That's the way your motion's trying to read. Um, that's not my intent to go to zero because there's other, there's a lot more time that's on call standby besides overnight. Because okay, okay, there could be people there working on trucks, doing other I things. See, okay. You know, their hoses have to be tested, fire hydrants have to be tested. That comes out of that line. I, yes. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. All those in favor? We have six eyes. Who made the motion? I did. You did. I seconded it. Are you sure you didn't make that motion? Shane? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that takes care of a considerable amount of budget, gets us back to the positive to where we need to be. Now, other discussions we still need to have tonight relate to capital. I'm not sure what we have. That whatever's left then would transfer here's, contingency or capital, or tell us what you've got, Shane. Here's what we have for perspective. We know the General Authority has all but told us that they have $80,000 that they're going to be giving us next year. Um, they, they, I think they made it very clear to us in October, October, September, when, when did we meet with them? October. October. I, I think they, they made it very clear to us that they have $80,000 for next year. That's what they think the number is going to be. Well, when, did, when will they release that, though? Once we ask for it. Once you request here's, it. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Let me, let me get into that part. Um, what I've already done, because I, I don't think... This year was a debacle as far as the confusion that was caused Absolutely. as to what happened with general authority. What I would like to do, especially since you essentially have zero budget here, um, is literally zero out of all of the requests and put a single general authority line item in. And whatever it is that you decide on at the council table, this is what we want to pay for, or this is what we're going to ask them to pay for, it all comes out of that general authority line item. In other words, he asked for a motorcycle in his budget. If you say that's one of the things you want the general authority to pay for, that motorcycle will come out of the general authority line item and capital expense fund. So that way you have an $80,000 revenue in capital, you have an $80,000 expense in capital, and nobody's wondering what was supposed to go where and why did we do this, and well, we paid for this earlier, now we're double paying, and, 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 and every bit of confusion that we've had occurs. So my proposal would be that you do a single line item of expense, general authority. Now, what I've already done is I've asked each department manager and I had the request from all of them. I think you probably all have the request from Dave. Um, and, and Lee, I, I need, do you have that with you? Can I have that copy? I'm going to give each of you, every department manager gave me a better way than already of what we want to ask the general fund for or the general authority for next year. That way you have a head start. Uh, you can decide now what we're going to ask the general authority for. 
So that's what we're going to ask you is probably by your second meeting in December, here are the items that we're going to ask general authority for. And that way we can ask them in their first meeting of the year, here's our request for this hearing. Um, there's no reason why you can't already put that in their first meeting and then if they want to push it off, they can push it off, but at least we already decided it. We already know what we're asking for. We already have a set in our budget that is nice and clear so that here's the revenue, here's the expense, it's one single line item. Uh, we all know because you approve it at the council table within your minutes as to what you're asking for. Um, and that way if they decide to do something crazy and like pay for something completely odd that wasn't in your budget, it still comes out of that single general authority line item. I would ask that you do it that way. I think that eliminates the entire problem that we've had this year. The second thing is we budgeted for $70,000 creative futures. We budgeted um, an expense line item for that creative futures as well. It's right here. So obviously, if you don't get the grant, you don't spend money. Right. But you show revenue in, revenue out. What I don't want to do is show that revenue in the general fund and then do a transfer of funds over to the capital fund and then show you. It, that's that's stupid. That's just stupid accounting. It's, it's a waste of it's a waste of accounting procedures. Show them your capital fund be done. Um, so that's that's where I put that. Now, all these other things, you have zero, so they should all be zero as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. If, <laughs> I know, you need Somebody's a dump truck. Somebody's got their arm up. You know, that ADA thing is a cannot not do it. That's true. Mandatory. Well, I, I think we have a couple things in here yeah. that yeah. You really, you really have to. And there are some things in here that we cannot zero. Yeah. So well, we're we going to have to have a conversation about where do we well, get. Well, what we can do is this. And Sell some this property. Is, this is what this is what I would propose to you. Is we just talked about possibly selling thirteen acres, thirteen and a half acres of property, right? Standard on here is I, I know housing going up by my house. They want they they want thirty thousand dollars for a three quarters of an acre. Right? They're nuts. But let's say we sell that property for ten thousand dollars an acre. It's one property. Let's say we sell it for ten thousand dollars an acre. That's one hundred thirty thousand dollars. Don't burn. Almost like don't burn. Buy it from there. What we can do is we can do a tentative revenue in the capital of sale of property. If you bring that money in. You do some capital projects. If you don't bring that money in, well, then you don't do a capital project because you don't have money to do it anyway. Now we also have uh, plugins. I mean, if we need to, we may need to do ADA compliance at the pool. We don't have. And you have that two hundred thousand dollars that you can do capital. So do. we may have to take some of that plugin to do this capital. Does that need to be decided tonight, or is that something that we yeah. can think about before Monday? No, I, need to, I need budget. to present. I need to have a preliminary budget Monday that you vote on. We can have this thing up on the screen for Monday night. Let's go through the things that are mandatory and check them off because I don't even know unless we go through them okay. and somebody tells Good point. us. Good point. Tell us. Give us the information that you can tonight. I may need time to think right. about this before well, here's, I make here's your of, of my the reality of it. Four hundred nine seven fifty. The computer upgrade that has to be done. That's that accounting program. Yeah, it's going to be finished in February, so you have to have it. If you're going to bring secretary, if you're going to bring billing over this building, then the Burl Hall upgrades must be done. Okay, so put that on there with this. Uh, put that in mandatory. That's mandatory, I think. Okay. You got, you yeah, got you to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Okay. You got to do it. All right, so we got two. Keep on. The police HVAC system has to be done. Yeah. Yes. Police H. That's not right. Yes, and that's going to save us money, too. Oh, gosh. And we do have another wish. Tell the wish list. I'm just kidding. Get a coat. Get a coat. Yeah, we buy them all new coats anyway. Yeah, that's right. Anything else for the police that works? 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 No, I mean, the issue of the motorcycle or the car, you know, I mean, that's something that general authority. That would be second. They will not buy. They won't buy, but they might replace the HVAC. But to me, I think I think the police car should be somewhere on. Okay. Um, fire department. Fire department. No, I think we've been beaten. Nothing. Them. No. There's only. Uh, oh, what's the electrical lights replacement? 
I, I think, think that we should do that. I think you should do that. Yeah, I agree. That's going to save That's money in the long run. Yeah. yeah. If you keep them. Ambulance. What's required? I think the garage doors are saving. The garage doors, I think, are going to go on. You know how much the fire The garage doors will right save us money in the long run. Dude, that's one of those items that will yeah. save us money. Whatever. I think. On fuel. I thought you were going Go Giants! Garage doors. <laughs> And that's it. That telephone system. You don't need that if you're moving. If you're moving secretaries. Right. That's pain. That's pain. Yeah, that's that's long gone. Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, that's. Uh, you know, I mean, they want that curve and cross over. We got a couple of pounds of sand. They can have for ten months. So we're doing the garage doors. You can do those. Okay, garage doors. Right. Okay, public works. I can do for a lot less than that. I got uh, tons of sand in my house. Jeff is desperate after a dump truck. What's man I know, but what's mandatory? Mandatory, We're doing mandatory. mandatory right there is the, the mass arms. arms and the 10th Street crossing. 51,200 mass arms? And the 4,900. Yep. That's mandatory. All right. Next pool, parking pool? The 10th Street call board is mandatory, right? It's sinking right now. Yeah. It's down again. What is it? Uh, refresh. 10th Street call board is down. It. It's low again. $130,000. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, that's. Like that, like, yeah. Okay. Build at least. Well, we can build that. Okay, I mean, we can build that. That's something that we can. Again, we can pack it. Okay, so parks and pools. Uh, the only two things that are in the ADA is the well, there's two. Uh, the ADA and the uh, refreshment stand. Yeah. Okay. That, uh, that has to be commercial. ADA. Yeah. And nothing else from that. Jeff, we can we can get this out of operating, can't we? What? The paint. Uh, the clothes. We're going to have to take a look at the paint. Just have to do it. We're going to figure out the paint. All right, let me tore it up. And then you can paint inside this. Don't need to buy paint. Well, they put their logo at the bottom. Yeah. Put their logo right at the bottom. Yeah. So we could just find some sponsorship. Oh, come on. You're killing us. You just used the ball already. I'm telling you, it's sponsorship. Are we sponsoring the pool? Yeah, the bottom of the pool. Put it in the logo at the bottom, is that a nice idea? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Hold on, I'm almost there. Oh, I think it works. You're going to sell signs. Grand total is $132,534.53. For what? Everything For everything that's mandatory. What'd you get for 132? We're not keeping the cover. 132,574.53. Thirty-three thousand. Yep. Like, um, and eighty thousand of that is general authority here too. No. Well, yeah. Yeah. So you're going to roll some of that into general authority. Well, we were going to ask for our general authority was going to be. Uh, I, I I have it. You're going to give it your. It's going to be the HVAC. That's eighty-six hundred. Can I say more? The doors. Garage door in the, in the ambulance? Uh, ambulance? Yeah. 17, 5. You think that's something that they... We're, we're at 26 point right now. I put the button on him. So that means it's <laughs> wrong with the door. 54, 53, nine. Nine. The, it's not energy official. The fire department upgraded to save a ton of money. It's a fuel. That's one that's going to save money down the road. I don't know, I have to look at the doors after the rest of the time. No, it's true. You want them? They're the old doors. All right, we're at 26. 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 We're at I just sold the jet. We just bought it. So to be on the safe side at this point, we should transfer 133000 out of the ticket. We'll take the wrong form. We don't know what the general authority is actually going to buy. We don't know what they're going to buy. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. All right. Well, we're at 26.1. And we have 53900 yet from the general authority. Yeah, no, we have requests that, that will fill that up. Um, All right, so if we take 80,000 from that, that leaves us with 52, 
$1,574.53 if you remove 80000 from that number that we totaled for mandatory things we said we need. Chief, I have a question. I, I, with your sheet here, are any of these items that can get grant money, like that, the emitters and stuff, or, or, or maybe the evidence? Or is there right any? now, no. Okay. Um, we were looking at, with respect to the emitters, we're looking at a couple options for grant money, but there's not a whole lot okay. right now, but it's not that much. Uh, okay. Social clubs that we have in the borough, is there anything that we can ask them for that can help press those? Well, I'm just saying, I don't know. I mean, they often give for a police dog, for example. So maybe they'd be willing to support something else. I thought you meant like fire company number one and two. Or, yeah, I mean. And you can always ask them and they can be very specific. No, you they're, can't. More, they're more likely to do something to do, do put something in the park, you know, put playground equipment. They did the rain bear. Yeah. I know the rotaries in that direction. Yeah. Right. Lines is geared towards. Are they the one that doesn't talk? All right, so we're going to have our, our, our choice right our, our option right now is to move money from Plague into capital until we, until we know land sale. So we have to have a plan Monday night of this is what we must spend in the first half of the year. This is what we can wait till the second half of the year to spend. Because if that land sale comes through, we don't know what it is, but we may need to use that money. I mean, Jeff needs that dump truck. So if we can sell land and get a dump truck, we have to do that type of thing. But we have to have that plan. And I don't know how to do that. Dr. Waddell. Plug-in money, are you going to be able to talk about water tank money, too? We still have that. The water tank money, that's plug -in. That's a plug-in storage account. So we're going to have to pull that into capital. Okay. Well, and we owe we several hundred thousand from water fund to capital. What is our capital? Bottom? We do for sure. So it's our, very easy to transfer back. Not a problem. Water won't have an issue. We sure. very easily show that. Okay. An well, amount. What is our bottom line right now without these capital improvements? 22. What, what, what was it? Uh, in, this, in this fund, Six. negative 1,270,000. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. No. Seriously, what was it? Well, it was 22. 22. All right. So we need continuity. We we're continue we're, we're 30,000 short for a balanced budget. No, we're 22,000 over. No, we are already balanced in our balanced in our I'm adding the 132,574 oh, yeah. mandatory things that we decided. But I subtracted the 80,000 from the general authority. That leaves 52,574. And if you take 22 from that, that leaves you 30,500. Oh my God! So you zero out your general fund budget? No, no, no. you have to. That 22,000 no, has to I'm stay. I'm just there. saying that's where we're that's at. That's just numbers that he did for his head. Then I'm right. saying no. that 22,000 right. has to stay there. Oh and, that, <laughs> and that 22. Okay. Shane, that 22. Let's just make this simple. Go ahead. Give us a number you want to bring from plug it into capital. I'll make a motion that we transfer 133,000 from the plug account to the no. capital account. I'll second that motion. Oh, oh, no. Hold on. Transfer a lot of them. 133,000. That's going to cover what our mandatory expenses are for now, because we don't know what general authority is going to buy and if they're even going to give us $80,000. We don't know if we're going to get that money. So we're going to spend $133,000 from the plinket and the $80,000, because if they give us $80,000, we have to spend that too. We can always transfer the money back, back to play. Then you go back to play it. We'll maybe, you should, it back. maybe you can. And if we sell land, land, I will and agree with that. I'll uh, include that in the motion that if general authority yeah. gives us the eighty thousand, we'll transfer the eighty thousand back to play it. I'll support. That. So you're funding the money. Yes. That'll yes. work. Yeah. But it's budgeted in case. It's work. But you got to budget for that scenario. Now realize we have no contingency account. We have twenty-two thousand in contingency. Yeah. Motion on the floor. Probably second. I second the discussion. Correct. I just want to clarify what it is. You want to put 133000 from the plinket in the capital and contingent upon a donation by the general authority up to whatever, well, it doesn't have whatever to be a set Whatever they give us the money we'll for, we put back. We'll go back. We'll go back. Okay. That's my second. All those in favor? I have six eyes. Now, Shane, my other concern is our is contingency funding. We have 22000 Can you, can you only catch up? Yeah. Take your time. I'm farting. Who are you telling me about that? They can't make a decision. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, you're our leader. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You'll stay that way. 133000 huh? Yeah. That's so tell me what you're funding and expenses here. Is that way I can... Oh, 
We do have five thousand dollars in the ambulance grants here that we that we're going to keep there. So, yeah. and, and that five thousand is going to pay for bulletproof vest. They're not buying bulletproof vest. That is priority. But I think no it's way. a grant. I think in that they already were. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's ridiculous. They have them now. That's ridiculous. I had nothing to say about that. That's the most ridiculous thing I've that's, ever heard. Nor do I. I'm that's not, not that's weighing it. in on this one. No, no I'm not spending five thousand dollars on that. They can spend their grant money or something. Yeah, my door. But I think that grant money is. I'm not approving that expenditure. I'm not approving that expenditure. No way. That grant money's already. I don't care. Send it back. It still has to get approved. No, you can't. It's it's already already Jay, you need to know what the no. 33,000 show for. Yes, please. All right. You're done. Borough Hall upgrades. Okay. Computer so upgrades. Okay. Or proof of that. HVAC is the proof of that. All right, so are you going to get out? What? No. Police car. I'm a police car. Out. We didn't count that in. But, but that will be in the next round if we get money from the timber. Okay, yeah. yeah. this room is out. So HVAC system is in. Yeah. It's out, too. We want to put the HVAC system in. Shut it. Electrical light oh, oh, oh. Yes. You sure you don't want to pump it? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Garage oh. doors? Yes. All right, so Bolt Profess. He's going to get this going up, I thought. We got to get you for him. Um, light mass you, you don't want the oh, helmets and coats for him? They don't no. use them. Telephone system purchase? No. 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 Non slip no, floor? No, no way. Not your office? No. no. I can paint the non slip floor. Garage door. Oh, garage door, yes. yes. That, that, do we have a quote that costs that in here? I mean, I saw numbers, but I saw one quote of garage doors. I didn't see three. Yeah, He'll be forced to do more. Okay, do more. So, okay, yeah, so but AV's been uh, going over here. Uh, okay. No AC, no office heat. He can get a space heater. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Curving crossover, no. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, no. no. Just, no it. just dump truck. No. no. If he sells the land. If he sells the land. If he yeah. sells the land. There you go. Motivated yeah. sellers. Uh, I'll be honest. After it's timbered. No, after it's timbered. <laughs> sorry. After Road construction. Oh, man. No. Uh -huh. Unfortunately. Like we, can't, we can't zero. We have nice patching, though. We do have like a patching. The white mass has to stay. The, yeah. the yeah. culvert has to zero out. Are you talking about pedestrian signals, or are we keeping that in? Yeah, yeah that's in there. Yeah. And then the refreshment stand equipment? Yes. And ADA storming full compliance. Who's trying to park that? That was sealer for the whole day that I was summer. We'll find it. We'll find it on some other time. I say you want that. Park signage. So, go back up. Clark's has to be removed. Yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. It's almost. Try to sneak one past. Yeah. Yeah. It's only four. Oh, it's only four. Come here. Don't tell us, Tony. Right. Dr. Widow. That was for the no-pet signs. What? 383. No, the 300 dollars. I'll make it. North Park. North Club could do that for us. The Arts Commission could do that. What are we missing? And it'd be really nice. Did they get the 133? Yeah, and you said 133 in the plate, right? I believe you only put 130. Oh, man. 133. Yeah, I think you only put 130. Unless I read it wrong. No, I got it wrong. Sorry. So, you show 288 in revenue. I'm fucking your house, busting you. Everything that you said you're going to fund is in here, right? What's that way? Yes. Lodges are all in. We go back up. Lodges are off. That's not in there. No, garage door. Never mind. I'm sorry. Jeez. Oh, watch it. Watch it, Jeff. Enough truck. Oh, wait. Lodges are off. We're getting a big cardboard box from Royal. Okay. Yeah. 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 For general authority? Just to figure something out, yeah. That's where we vote on what we want them to pay for. Actually, you are, uh, you're like 81000 in the good here. How much? These numbers add up. Do you have your calculator? Anybody want to add something else? Is the police department <coughs> car there? No. 34000 I did all that already. You put the motorcycle in 8600 
That's a cost savings. That costs on fuel and everything. Fifty six seventy four. Yeah. I think that should be in there. Jeff gets in charge. Twenty two thousand five hundred. Well, what's Wait, more they, important, the emitter or the motorcycle? 56,100. That long shot. Okay. 80,700. We got like five guys that are ready to ride right now. Just stick with me, all right? How many traffic stops can we get with that? Oh, well, are there new guys from what I hear is awesome. That, that's the revenue. You guys got over? No, I got it. Only the in the back the alleys. They put the plus sign in the YouTube cell. Yeah, they were down there. 207,574. And I took 288 in revenue because I have. You have the 80,000 general authority. 80,000 general authority there. And the 70 for the grant. 70 grant. But I also want to show the expense out of the grant. Leave it Leave it as thus right now. Well, what I want to do is. You want to equal right now? Well, on the motorcycle. No, what I want to do is. is well, so it's put an expense item for general authority. Exactly. I didn't do that yet. Exactly. Yeah, put that, put that public works. And you'll put the yeah. general authority expense line item in there. But you have those items in there already, so you're going to have to take 80000 out of there to lump into that saw. Correct? What you guys did is you transferred over $133,000. Yes. But how's it how, yeah. So really, I should I should show zero for general authority expenses, because what you're saying is if we get the general authority, yes, the eighty thousand should not come in nor out. But if you put the eighty thousand out, it's going to it's going to balance now. Right, yeah. The general authority should come either in nor out or both in and out, not one or the other. Which right now you have general authority coming in as revenue, but not going out as expense. Right. But the thing is, is it. So put, it, put it a general authority. Actually, I should probably zero up the revenue. Because you're showing a, a $133,000 revenue for the transfer. Yes. Which then you're saying if, if the general authority money comes in, then we're going to send it back out. Yes. So really, I'm going to be $50,000 short on that. It's just it's just a question, yes. So really. You do it as you see fit that makes the most sense to you keep because the you're the one managing the, the fund. But yes. Keep the number. Accurate. So, actually, it's like a pass through then, right? Yeah, yeah. Number accurate right now. But you're going to have to take some of that and put it. It depends how he looks at it. You're either going to take some of that money and put it into that line, up, into that line item, some of those expenditures, or you're not going to have to. Actually, what I'm going to do is this. That's how that number really should be. That makes sense. And you're going to have to take some of that money and put it into that line item, some of those expenditures, or you're not going to have to. Actually, what I'm going to do is this. That's how that number really should be. That makes sense. And the expense should be $80,000 here. And then that's how much they pay. A couple of dollars at the end. Didn't work. No, no, no. What's the calculation for your revenue? I lost the computer. I mean, in the upgrade. It's got to be the computer. That upgrade. I'm getting motion sensor. We may be dizzy together. I can have all back and forth. That's 203. No, that's how it should be. That's absolutely how it should be. But you're what we did, this number right here, I just added eighty thousand dollars. What I should do is those things that you guys already expended out should you know, go under that blanket. Should fit into that. Should into fit that. into that blanket. You make it look right for me. I don't put zero. I think yeah, we're all, that would be zero we're all out of all those capital right. projects. It equals eighty thousand. I will make That's it work, right. but essentially, you make it look normal by Monday. Essentially, this is what this is what happens. Your difference is four hundred and some dollars. Woo so you have capital. You have a balanced budget all the way around. I Can I take budget. tomorrow off? Four o'clock. He deserves it. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. You can go hunting at lunchtime. <laughs> That's oh, right, at the property we own. Yeah, that's yeah. really hunting quest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go survey the land tomorrow. <laughs> Don't damage any trees. <laughs> yeah, you got to sell those. We don't need any bullets. If I miss, i got to miss the trees, too. I got it. Somebody's got to be in the house. Dirty to All right, so bottom line. There's probably six guys up there, right? Because nobody even knows we own them. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Bottom line is in the general fund, you have a, a surplus of Twenty two thousand six hundred seven. Which is not enough for a contingency. It's not even close. But we had the the water tank 
The water tank savings. And is there, there is a is contingency? Hopefully, we never touch it. Your contingency fund will be eight hundred sixty to seven thousand dollars this next year. We're close, sure. Um, for your water fund, you, you are going to end with a surplus of thirty-six thousand dollars. I mean. Our message to our department managers is going to have to be, we are going to have to run it, run it to the bone next year. Again. Well, you're keeping all your personnel, at least. That's right, you're keeping your personnel. Uh, your sewer fund is 24000 But hey, you're spending 540000 Capital, you're going to be spend, at least you're going to do some projects the way that we did this. No. That's the right way to do this, but it, it is what it is. At least you're not borrowing money. It's better than money. what I expected That's to right. see. It At least you're not borrowing money. We're not going to go back. important time. We have 50 in water for roads, and we have whatever we have in liquid fuel, correct? Yeah, what you have, Jeff, is, and I guess I should at least show you guys some liquid fuel from At least that was down. You should at least be able to see that. Uh, you're the best. <laughs> I have a question. I say we can be friends, but I don't want to be. <laughs> I have a question. If, if, if we do. Well, one, I think it was 40. I think you lost 10. I think you lost 10. Right. 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 227,979. Normally, they're within, they give us a letter, normally they're within three or four thousand dollars one way or the other. Sometimes it's high, uh, sometimes it's low. And here, they give us a letter saying 221, we got 226 here. 235, we got 228. This year, they're saying 218. Based off of the last. But how did you divide it? Here's what I did I, I kept a uh, solid 25,000, okay? And then I split up okay, as evenly as, as I could between those two. So street lighting, knowing that street lighting is going to be in the 115 range, when it's electric cost goes slightly, everything that was left over went into your road and street projects. So you're going to have 77,000 there. Plus the 40. Plus the 40. Plus the 40. Road product. Uh, gotcha. Water. Gotcha. 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 It doesn't give, us, doesn't give us a whole lot next year, but at least you're not raising taxes. You got enough fees and credit. Um, I just something that you said kind of sticks in my head when you said that we're only earning two tenths of one percent when it was three hundred seventy thousand dollars in the play game. Can we shop around for higher interest rates? Um, I mean, we're going to shop what point three. I'm, no, I'm right. no, no, that's, that's a good point, and, and I, have, I, have a, I have a response to that. We're shopping banks right now. What the banks are telling us is that their interest rates are actually beating Plague it right now. I checked Plague it before I came upstairs today. 0.02%, 0.01%, 0.04%. Or, and that, that 0.04%, you know, the big one, um, is if you keep the money in there for more than six months. So. So there is a chance of that happening. There, there is a chance of us being able to get higher interest rates. And I have not talked to Bruce today. I tried, I tried that. I get a call. EIT, you took care of EIC. You saw your email about Berkheimer and the way that works. You already fixed all those numbers in there. You'll have that next Monday. Yeah, EIT, I think, is reflected. Uh, no, stop. You received an email from me today. Berkheimer's going to skim the IT Say off the top. That, that Berkheimer takes the money off the top. So I, I did not I did not change it because I wanted you guys to just tell me I, I can change it. Agreed. Yeah, um, well, is, is it different than last this past year? Yeah, remember your EIT people were sent tax, they closed their doors now. You guys want to yeah. Berkheimer. Berkheimer does not send us a bill for commission. What they do instead is they take their commission off the top. Now we know what it is because they send us all the, you know, the correspondence. But what that means is the commission in expenses for Berkheimer will be zero, but you're going to see less of the revenue. Rate. Now the other thing is, is this number just isn't the right number anyway. I mean, the more money in the IT you bring, the more commission they make, and normal year around forty thousand um, dollars. 
what I'm saying is let's zero that out, and then the revenue is bring the EIT down by eight. for like a second round of capital projects, correct? Okay. Do we want to prioritize so department heads know? I'm totally have money. Well, wait, wait, let me finish, please. Do we want to prioritize and let them know so that if we do get the money, it's not going to be three people on a committee deciding and already have that decision made and recommended to council instead of the whole council as a whole debating it. That's my question. Dump truck, motorcycle, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what we want. That's what we're selling land for. How about we arm wrestle? <laughs> oh, we oh, arm wrestling in, for it. In, in that order? What? I mean, I'd be, I'd be in favor of that. In that What's order. That? We'll what? see what we get. I mean, I, I don't think we can make any decision until we know if we're getting money. I mean, what happens if nobody wants any of this land? We I know. I I just just and then we've got this little hat. Do we make, I just had to buy this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like. I do like the, the fact that, and I do appreciate you two for being here. It's, it's yeah. really important, and it's really valuable that our department heads took the time to sit in on this meeting. It is. We're a nice, nicely equipped. Um, I would just like to say one thing. I was saying this earlier. You'll never, you'll never find me personally upset about any of the budget cuts or any of the adjustments. The only thing I would ask council to remember, and this has happened, um, and I'll use one example. Um, the the Legion coach was really upset about the field, which required more mix. We were out of money. We didn't have any more money for mix, and we're going to get to that point in some places. And so there'll be a reason. Um, if the wheels fall off the bus in the middle of the year, and the nice. trucks are an issue, I just ask that we remember where all where we were all at. That's all I ask. It's on us. Good call, Jeff. Don't be afraid to remind us either that we got everything. I mean, I because it's tough when you're dealing with the public and they're yelling at you to not to take the blame for it. But we need to, we need to take that. And part. you know, everybody needs to. Awesome. So. so we're good. I got a balanced budget. I can go to bed. You can you can put something. <laughs> you know, it's not it's not a good balanced budget, but we have a balanced budget. And that's what matters. And you know, we got away with not having the raise property tax. I mean, you know, we, we're all in agreement that we're not happy about raising water and sewer rates, but you don't have to raise property tax out of this budget, and that's what your goal was here. You're right. So Mr. we Stone, got it done. I have a question. What, the two pieces of equipment that we're looking at, the motorcycle and the, the dump truck, truck, right? Are we putting that on hold? Yes. Until, until we, property until sold. Property, both if property pieces, sold. Both pieces of property. If, well, we'll see. We have to wait, we have to wait until we, if we get money, then we'll do. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't even want to entertain that discussion until we have money. Who knows the properties are on sale? Yeah, yeah. We, we will get money from that. I remember the motorcycle is cost efficient. Why don't you drive one? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I don't want to see that. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you. I'm going to your house first. We need to roll. Yeah, yeah. You need a little tricycle. We roll it. Okay, I'm going to shut you guys down. All right. I do have to say thank you to everyone. The time and effort put in, Mrs. Gilbert, I really appreciate the time and effort you put into this. Uh, we spent a lot of time here. Mr. Pepe did a wonderful job of informing us of everything, giving us a binder, getting us to where we need to be. Hopefully, anything that we discussed in executive session that will or will not happen never leaves that point. It's very important to me that our employee, employees realize tomorrow everybody still has their job. There are no, there is no one being cut. There may be a few hours less at the park in the summer. There may be some people who have to adjust a little bit, but hopefully financially everybody has their job next year. And that's important to me that our employees know that. And hopefully they know that's a morale booster because it would have been much easier to cut employees than what our department had to do. And I want you to know that I, I certainly appreciate Chief Faust and, and, and Jeff in particular. Literally nothing else got done today by either of these guys and myself other than working on this and the what-ifs of, we knew we were coming into this meeting talking about personnel issues, 
and we certainly appreciate the fact that I don't have to tell somebody tomorrow. Start looking. Yeah. You can start looking for a new job. Yeah. And, and I got to tell you, that's not a conversation. If you've ever had to do it before, that's the worst. Out of everything that you could possibly do in a job, as a manager, that's the worst thing you can do. Um, but you also know that as part of doing business, sometimes it has to happen. We were prepared for that tonight. I certainly appreciate you know the work that you guys put into it. I got to tell you, this is my seventh go around of preparing a budget for council, and this was the most difficult budget I've had to deal with. But what I can tell you though is your participation made it the easiest to deal with because there's no fighting. There was we have a harsh reality here. It's not pretty. We've got to work through it, and that's and I think that's what you guys did. I mean, you're here three nights in a row this week. Two and a half hours each night, and we got done what we need to get done. Um, you know, I mean, we, 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 to me, you can pass the red face test when you go in front of the public and say, look, we have to raise these rates, but we did everything we could to keep the, the cost down, to, you know, do what we had to do to, to provide the same services. You're going to have people that aren't going to be happy. The library's not going to be happy. The Main Street partners are not going to be happy. The fire department. <laughs> it was gonna be happy. Just leave it at that. It was Nate Brown's idea. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, right. I'll I'll second. Second. <laughs> I'll second. I'll second. Motorcycle rail. You know, there are things in your in, in this budget that were tough decisions that you made, and, and I certainly appreciate the fact that you did it, and, and you had some brass in, in cutting some of the numbers that you cut, and there were some other ones that I, I think some of you wanted to cut, and. Uh, you know, and, and some of you decided not to cut them, and, and those were all tough decisions. What I do appreciate is the fact that you didn't sit here and play the politics part of it, because that's what makes my job impossible. It's the, well, yeah, no, what are the people going to say? I get what the people are going to say. They're still not going to be happy, but it could have been a lot worse, because what you could have said was, you know what, <coughs> we're going to raise taxes too by two mils or a mil and a half. You could have done that. You could have easily done that. Um, so I think we made the cuts that you needed to make. We'll deal with the consequences. Uh, I obviously need to have a conversation with at least one department in the borough tomorrow. Um, I need an officer of that, by the way. <laughs> uh, but um, you know, we did do yeah, a lot of work in this. All of us. Absolutely. All, all Absolutely. You, did. Absolutely. you know, I gave you, I gave you probably more information than you ever want to deal with. Uh, if you throw that, most of that stuff in the recycling bin, that's that's great. That's fine. Give me the empty binder back at least. Well, I'm getting the same. I've already pledged mine to the historical society. Historical <laughs> society. Are you? I, I, I will be giving you the same kind of lifetime. You'll get the same kind of information every year from me. That's just that's what you're going to get. So one thing I hope you had was enough information to do everything and, and to make the decisions that you needed to make. You, you can't say that. I can honestly walk away saying you didn't get surprised by anything from me because I can tell you. To turn to page 2,337, you find her, and it's there. Um, so, you know, thank you, and you know, and thank you guys because the department managers, especially uh, Jeff and Dave, came in here tonight going, "We'll cut what we need to. We need to make it work," and, and that's what they did. Appreciate you guys giving up your evening for this. I mean, you gave up a lot of time, Jeff. You gave up a lot for us. We really appreciate it. I do have to say that we do have to keep our eyes open because if we continue to do business in the same way we've always done, we'll be sitting here next year in December for the same amount of time trying to cut numbers that don't And, that's, and that's my fear. We've got to, throughout the year next year, and one thing, the next thing, and I told you I think in my, in my budget narrative, the next thing that happens between the apartment managers and myself is we start to form goals for next year. And you'll see that presentation probably at the end of this year will give you counsel something of this is what we're trying to accomplish next year. And I think that it has to include ways to improve the way we do business here. And we need your blessing as to this is going to work, this isn't. And we move forward based on what you think is, is the direction to go. Mr. Labor. I heard that we need to change things, but I think we have. We have a hundred thousand dollar deficit or an increase in our workman's compensation insurance. We address that by Shane instituting the, the safety committee. We're going to get some relief hopefully next year at a discount. So that was addressed. So 
So it is a change. You're right. We are making changes. The absolutely. pension fund was made from a past borough manager that nobody else got, a hundred thousand dollar shortfall, plus the increase in the pension cost of another hundred fifty million. Three hundred fifty. Three hundred. So three hundred fifty million dollars in pension in cost than we paid this year, and a hundred thousand on the workman's comp. That is four hundred and fifty thousand dollars just for workman's comp and pension. That's all our problems right there, guys. We're not really doing anything wrong, guys. We're not doing it wrong. But if things don't get better, we're in the same situation. That's correct. And that has a lot to do with the economy. If the economy doesn't turn around, everybody's hurt. We're hoping 2014 with a new actuarial study on the pension. If we finish out 2012 strong, which the pension as of September 30th climbed 11.1%. For the year, but October through the end of November, it dropped five and a half percent. So we're still in the good at, at around six percent. So if we can finish out December on a positive note in the pension, then the actuarial study that would take effect at you know whatever the value of the pension is December thirty first of this year will help us with that pension liability. Going Anything positive, better than negative, a negative year. I mean, so um, it, can't get any, it can't get much worse. Well, it will reduce our this year. Yeah. It will reduce our cost. What we pay from this. And, and our, our our people at Wells Fargo believe that we're probably going to finish the year between five and six percent to positive. They think that all the good news is coming out about you know housing or you know sales of housing and all that good stuff. It's all being offset because Congress and the president are a bunch of nitwits that can't decide what they're going to do in the future, and that's why stock markets aren't. Yeah, maybe they should call us. Yeah. They will fix it. It's just all mad, that's all. <laughs> oh, no, in here. Oh, no. Lord, you move. Lord, you move. Motion to adjourn. Lowest water. So move. Second. Lowest all those in favor. Give six eyes, we are adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Brown. Uh, it's Sunny's things are useless. Shove stuff. Yeah, I shove stuff. Brown. Who cares? Who cares? You bet. No problem. I'm glad you guys took the time. I haven't seen my kids in three days. Yeah. Because they go to rugby practice when I get home from work. And then I, they get home and I come here. Thank you. Have a pleasure. Thank you all for that. I got her all this too.